Welcome to the Fret Frontier. Today's episode is a celebration of the release of the UCAD's first single called Lie Dee Die. The UCAD's project is a community that is becoming an album led by James Hill. On this YouTube channel, I am Mary, the Fret Frontier, but on the UCAD project, I am UCAD 163. UCADs are basically well-rehearsed and supported session musicians for James Hill's new album. James Hill has written all the songs. He prepares all the parts we play, both for ukulele and vocal. So as a UCAD, you can play the ukulele, you can sing vocals for the chorus, or you could do both. You can sing and you can play the ukulele for whatever songs you wish to participate in. There are approximately 10 songs planned for this particular album. So here's what happens. Once a month, James leads us all in a rehearsal on Zoom. Zoom is a meeting platform where we all collaborate together for rehearsals virtually. After the rehearsal, we get a sound slice recording of the vocals and ukulele part. Sound slice, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, is a wonderful tool that scrolls the music tablature and notation for you online so that you can play along. It has many, many features. You can slow the part down, you can speed it up, you can loop different parts. It is an excellent rehearsal aid and it really eases the learning curve. In addition to the sound slice file, you get an MP3 guide track that you can use when recording your own part. So you can play along with this to make sure that you're coming in on time and that everything sounds fine to you end to end for the song. After you've completed your recording, you post it to the recording channel on the Slack space. Slack is the tool being used to host our community collaborations. When you first become a UCAD, you get an email bringing you to the introduction channel of the Slack site. You can introduce yourself and meet other UCAD members. The song channel is where you'll see information about rehearsals and receive your rehearsal materials. The Tech Talk channel is where you kids collaborate together to help each other out with questions regarding recording or using the various tools that are supporting this virtual project. There are many channels also just for delightful community interactions. And of course, when you've completed your recordings for a song, you post them as MP3 files to the recording channel. If you'd like to become a UCAD, go to UCAD.com. There you'll see all kinds of background information about what UCADs are, as well as a podcast where James explains the entire concept. There's an area where you can select and purchase your very own UCAD. And note that the UCAD is the only part of the entire process that has any cost to it. If you play the ukulele or you just like to sing and you want to be part of a community that is making beautiful recordings of music written and arranged by James Hill, join us as a UCAD. But even if you don't want to be a UCAD, Please accept my invitation to listen to our debut single by clicking on the link in the description below. Hang in there a little bit longer for a bonus section where you get to meet some additional UCADs in person. Okay, so welcome everybody. This is our opportunity to talk with some actual UCADs and uh, we're going to show our global community here. We have uh, representation from New Zealand from Germany and from the United States. So we'll just go around and uh, everybody just uh, share a little bit about what it's been like to be a UCAD and how you have enjoyed uh, the ukulele, what brought you here and uh, what's happening now. Who would like to start? I'll jump in. All right, Steve. Okay. <laughs> I'm Steve Stromquist. I'm a UCAD from Minneapolis, uh, UCAD number 876. And uh, I got started after the first song. I mean, if you saw the global premiere of our first song, I'm not on that one. But I'm recording with the rest of the group. We're up to about, I think, 100 or so now UCADs, James said. Yeah. On the last couple songs that we've done, and 
Um, like Mary said, we get together every month or so. We went through a serious series of orientations, which are available on YouTube if you care to join us and uh, review those. I think they're still available. Um, but I just got into it because, you know, I love the ukulele. I love just making music, I guess, to entertain myself. And I found uh, James, of course, as an instructor with through Uktropolis, his website and instruction thing, and um, learned about the UKED project and uh, wrote a little history of my ukulele journey for James to review, and I uh, was accepted into it. Um, I started playing the ukulele in, uh, well, I guess I had an ukulele when I was in high school and didn't really do anything with it. Tried to, you know, get in with the guitar group. But uh, when I was in Hawaii for a while and uh, got my first ukulele there, uh, real ukulele. And uh, again, I didn't, I was still working like, uh, and you get committed to that. So I didn't really commit to my ukulele uh, learning until I retired a few years ago. Um, and uh, But I've always been interested in music. I played a band instrument in high school. I sang in choirs in church and so forth. And uh, love music, love uh, just the stimulation that it gives you and the relaxation. And I'm also interested in how people make music and uh, Mary can tell you more about it. She's into it. Uh, she's uh, recording quite a bit on YouTube and so forth. But um, James is a professional who's put out C CDs and he's invited us to be a part of the process. And he takes us kind of behind the curtain, so to speak, and uh, shows us how he mixes together, gee, over 100 tracks and make some musical out of it, out of it, you know, and uh, to great success. I mean, the first premiere I thought was awesome. Um, the way he blended voices and ukuleles. And of course, James has a great voice. So, you know, as a leader of the band, he's really good at that. Um, but that's kind of it. I really just did it because I wanted to learn more about the process that professionals and this is a free course in professional music making. And I'm finding out things like Mary said, you know, we have our own YouTube channels, which I also discovered in uh, Ooktropolis virtual recitals, which is another one coming up. Right, Mary? We got another yep. one coming up in December about third. Yep. Yeah, December 3rd. So we got to pick out a, a number and start woodshedding on that. But um, that'll be fun. That's always a fun event. James, uh, that's one thing about it. James makes it fun. Um, he doesn't talk down to people. He he include he's very inclusive, and I think that's part of his mission is to spread the joy and of music and the ukulele and uh, invites us in to be a part of it. And that's what you kids is for me, a part of a band. Thanks, Dave. Back to high school, you know, be a part of a band, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, We've got a lot of songs to record yet. So if you're interested, I think there's about 10 more songs to do. I don't know how many you wanted to put on here, 10 or 12 on the album. So there's a lot of stuff to do. And it's not that hard. Not that hard. The technology is pretty accessible. And I'm just using my own iPhone for it so far. So thanks, Mary. Thanks for thinking of me. And, and it's also been a pleasure to get to know Mary. Uh, we chat once in a while about our process and our decisions in, mm -hmm. in this whole thing and so that's fun too yeah you get to meet new people and share the music and the ukulele with them thanks mary thanks steve that was wonderful who'd like to go next so if you want to have me i'll i'll do sure. it come on ricky okay okay uh so my name is uh, ricky uh i'm uh uk 512 i had to look it up because i always get <laughs> the number <laughs> And I live in Mainz. This is a city in Germany. I had to look the word up. It's uh, Rhineland Palatinate. So I didn't know uh, the translation for, for the German word Rheinland Pfalz. Um, I'm not a very musical person, but I love music. 
And I tried several times to, to learn an instrument. For example, at the age of, let's say, 12, 13, I started with guitar. But um, at that time, uh, we didn't have the, the technical things like we do have now. So I couldn't uh, set the sound correct on my guitar. And every everything sounded wrong and nobody could help me. So I quit that and started later, uh, years later again. And um, at about five years, but I never was good at any instrument, but I love it. So, and it, uh, it was about five years ago that I, I, I don't even remember how it came. Perhaps I watched a YouTube video and saw the ukulele. I'm not, I'm not quite sure now. So, but I bought one, a relatively cheap one. Uh, and at that time, I, uh, a student that was living in my house here taught me guitar. And I showed him his this ukulele and he was very impressed and says, oh, yes, that's great. I want to play as well. And I thought, OK, we can do it together. But then he quit. He, he we moved away to another town with his girlfriend. So I was left on my own. Mm. And then I got ill. So I couldn't go on playing uh, as uh, as normally so not I couldn't practice every day I had to stop several months for example and um, I chose uh, several ways to learn the ukulele I never had a teacher uh, I had many YouTube videos I'm a member of rock class 101 um, and things like that um, and then last summer I started Uktropolis all of a sudden I got to know about that uh, and I thought, okay, this could be a good way for me. And he starts at, James starts at the very beginning. He's a great teacher, as Steve already said. He was so, he's a, a warm hearted man. And then again, I don't know how it came. I got to know about uh, UCATS. And at the very first beginning, I didn't quite understand because English is not my mother language. So um, I thought, oh no, that's that sounds a kind of, a bit kind of boring. But I was um, curious enough to get to the YouTube video again. Mm. And then I understood, oh, okay, you kids are a great community and everyone can play the ukulele. And as soon as I understood that, that I could buy um, my UCAT and be a member and take part in processing the CD, um, I was absolutely, I was absolutely in love with that project. I uh, sat at my computer and looked at every single head <laughs> um, to choose which one I wanted to have, but I could make up my mind. I asked a friend, please help me choose my mind. And in the end, I got one that is not close to what I think, what I wanted to have, but it's not something, some people say, that's my UCAT. This is not mine, but I, from all of my heart, I'm a UCAT and I like being in this uh, project. And uh, at the very first song, I was <clears throat> uh, COVID, so I couldn't watch the YouTube, uh, uh, the Zoom meeting. And I had uh, some time laying in bed and things like that. And at the very uh, end of the time that I had to upload my song, I thought, oh God, my I'm not far enough with my song. I have to practice and so and I couldn't do the singing. But when I first heard the final record, I thought, oh my goodness, from now on, I will sing in every song. It was a bit unfamiliar for me to sing the ooh and things like that. And ah, and, and you hear nothing in between that sounds unfamiliar for me, but I love it. And I'm doing such a lot of work to get better and better. I bought several things to get better recordings. My friend uh, showed me how to listen to the song and to hear how I have to sing all the O's and A's and, and things like that. And now, uh, when was it? Two days ago when I first saw the video of Lie Did I, I was more than impressed. I, it's it's heartwarming for me to hear the song, to see the video, the... the um, Polish um, painter had done such a great job. Um, mm -hmm. James's ideas are great. I'm so uh, thankful that he is, um, as Steve already said, he's so um, 
He lets people in and he asks us for decisions. Everybody shall shall get a UCAT for the song. And we say, oh, of course, we want this. Uh, and so I love his his kind. He works with us. And it's it's really great. And I've learned quite a lot. So I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ricky. Appreciate it. That was wonderful. Thank you. All eyes are upon you, Avon. Sure. Hi, I'm Avon from New Zealand. And um, I've known James for about 10 years, actually, with well, the whole Jahui process. So I decided um, in 2014 to start the Jahui training. So I'm actually a qualified Jahui teacher now. And it's brought such richness to my classes and to myself actually my favorite thing at the moment would probably be the orchestras that I'm running and that gives us a chance to sort of delve a bit deeper the attraction with you kids has been a, li a little delayed um, I was sort of watching it but then terribly busy doing all sorts of other things and then I saw that video Lighty Die and I thought oh my god I would dearly love to be part of a global ukulele band or network. And like all of the rest of you, I find James's approach um, really um, inclusive, but he's such a stunning individual and he's just so humble and welcoming that you don't feel at all sort of overawed by his ideas or his teaching or so yeah so I've sort of leapt into it I do have a number and I'm pretty sure this is it I'm number 1807 and I've actually put a challenge out to my ukulele group to give my ukid a name and because she's blowing a, a rainbow they think I should be called siren <laughs> oh, maybe <laughs> somebody else said I'll turn your name around the other way and call it Nova and then some other person said well, what about Uke Nova or something like this so I'm I quite like to name things like I named my car you know so I thought yeah I might name this this Yuki but I'm really looking forward to sort of seeing how how this sort of global community develops because you know we have had um quite a tough time here with COVID, as all of us have, undoubtedly. And <clears throat> I think having something that connects us to people all around the world is, puts you in another place, you know? It's, it just puts you in another place, in another mindset. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens and, you know, the ideas that I can sort of extract from this and put into my class and, you know, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just like quite a few of the people in the group, I'm sure, are ex-teachers or ex-musicians or, you know, and so you can bring all of that to this current situation and and just grow, you know, and just enjoy the process. So, Mary, thank you very much for inviting me into this chat. I really wanted some background to the whole you kid. I, like you, I also have... Um, a YouTube channel now my son set it up because I had to submit something and James wanted it in YouTube so you know my Avon Hanson Beadle if you just YouTube that you'll see some of the things that my group are doing and sometimes I do individual performances because I have a background in women's barbershop actually I did that for about 20 odd years so I've got a good ear for harmony and sort of singing and holding a line and what have you so yeah thank you Mary appreciate it over to you Thanks, everybody. You guys were brilliant and wonderful and so warm. Thank you so much for sharing your stories with us. And I will put links uh, down in the bottom uh, to um, uh, the names of uh, the UKEDs, again, the numbers rather, and any links to um, sites where uh, our members here have a uh, YouTube uh, presence. So please check everybody out and thanks so much for joining us and meeting some of the UKEDs. Appreciate it. See you in the next episode. Thanks, Mary.